You're watching The Redefined Show on Adorama TV, and I'm your host, Tamara Lackey. On this episode, we speak with commercial photographer and educator Bobby Lane about her best creative and business advice after three strong decades in the industry. Adorama TV presents The Redefined Show with Tamara Lackey, where she talks with creatives who make it all work, bringing their best creative and business tips to you, along with fresh ideas and equipment favorites. You can check out much more content with photographers, filmmakers, and entrepreneurs by watching Adorama TV. Welcome to Redefine. Joining us today is Bobby Lane. Hi, Thank Tamara. you so much for joining us. I'm delighted to be here. Here at, in New York, New York City. I saw, I saw one of the uh, teaching videos that you did for Sakonic. Yes. Uh, the the uh, uh, rooftop musician. Ah, yeah. oh, it was fantastic. Thanks. It Thanks. was very, very cool. How was it making that? Because it seemed like you were in it. It was a blast. And yeah. I, I, have to, I have to tell you a little secret. I was, as we were driving into New York to go do that shoot, it's, a, it's drag the shutter. It's balancing strobe and ambient light. So right. that means that you've got to have, you know, you've got a twilight. I have to do the video and I have to do a picture that's ad worthy. Yes. And I'm driving in there going, I'm out of my mind. What, what was I thinking? That's a lot of pressure. There's no retake. You got a 45 minute window and you have no idea what the sunset's going to be like, what the wind is going to be like. And we were so blessed. The, the luck that we had of that fabulous sunset, the mm -hmm. wind was blowing Will's hair just right, mm -hmm. you know, and everything just kind of came together. It was fantastic. That was such an incredible experience. Yeah, we'll be showing a clip of that along with oh, this. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. And I am going to be doing some um, upcoming webinars for Pocket Wizard. Okay. With the Mac group. So that's, yes. that's we're just in the talking stages now. So I'll yes. be doing another video and ad and some webinars. So yeah. Those are fun. Up. I think those are yeah. fun to watch, especially when they're, um, because there's obviously ads and this and that, but some of them are very well done. Yeah. And they really draw you in and they're educational and they're obviously showcasing a product, but doing so in a way that's intriguing. You know, that's kind of the best of all worlds. Well, you know, that's the whole idea. I mean, for me, I'm, I'm a photographer and I'm an educator. I mean, right. I'm dedicated to the educational part of this. And I'm not here to sell a product, but... I'm here to be able to show you what are the tools that you need in order to be able to get your idea across. Right. So it's like we have to have product. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't do it without a camera. <laughs> Tell me about your work with stock photography. Um, I don't do as much stock as I used to okay. because the industry has changed so drastically. Yes. When I first got into it many years ago, um, it was really, I wouldn't say it was easy to make money, but it certainly is easier than now. And now with the royalty free and and everybody shooting and putting stuff up on Flickr and all and that. It's, and such, it's yeah. really it's really devalued. So I really don't do that much with stock anymore. Now, what when you were doing a lot more of it? Um, what's the craziest place you ever saw one of your images? Did you ever like surprisingly oh, find one? Like, um, well, way? well, no. I this one I didn't see. I just I just know from I, I sold a whole bunch of stuff to the Ivory Coast. I thought that that was really funny. There was pictures. I had a shuttle launch. I'm really into the space program. Uh -huh. And I had this fabulous. I had press passes. I had this fabulous shuttle launch. And for some reason, they loved it. And it was billboards, bus benches, ads. I don't even know what the company was, but my picture was all over the Ivory Coast. That's random. Uh, so, yeah. I, cool. I can't tell you anything more than yeah. that. It's just yeah. kind of odd. Well, yeah, actually, it's funny. I, I, I shot um, similar. I, I shot stock more about five years ago at, for very similar reasons. Don't yeah. do less of it. But um, two weeks ago, I saw a... Um, a Google alert about my photograph being used by Getty with uh, about cu cupcakes. I photographed cupcakes, and the whole story was about a woman who just got arrested for battering her husband with cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it's like that's the hard hitting. <laughs> that's what you do this for. Um, but it's silly how you just find things crop up. And whenever I talk to people who shoot stock, it's always kind of. Um, yeah, just randomly like this or that. Know. You wouldn't have even thought things would be paired in the ways they are. Yeah, it's very yeah. interesting. Um, and then so going forward from here, as you're moving more out of stock, you're doing obviously a lot of education. Doing a lot of education. Commercial work. Commercial work. Most of my commercial work is mainly corporate. Yes. I do a lot of work with companies and I work both with design firms. I do a, I still do a little bit of advertising. I used to do a lot more. But I'm, I'm really like to work directly with the client, so mm -hmm. I do a lot of client direct. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be anything from the photos for their website, which can be people, places, and things. Right. Um, you know, annual reports. Um, I'm still doing editorial. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm one of those people, I did everything backwards. I started in the advertising yeah. business, <laughs> and then uh, took me took me, I was in business for about 18 years before I ever shot anything editorially. So I just kind of did it the opposite way. But I like doing editorial because there's more creative freedom. You, yeah. know, you can basically go and do what you want, but you certainly don't make as much money as you do the other way. But I love it all. 
18 years, obviously well known, successful, great work. Wait, wait, 35 years I've been shooting. 35? Yeah, 18 years before I started shooting editorial. See? Yeah. 35. So, 35. I started shooting when I was two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's funny. I was talking to Doug Gordon the other day, and he was saying, he goes, I'm 38, and I've had the studio for 27 years. And I'm like, Huh? huh? But his dad, right? And then he was—he worked in the oh, studios. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. that math is not. Um, so, with that, with that breadth of experience, and obviously the success you found, what are uh, three great pieces of advice you'd offer to anybody who wants a long, fruitful career? Okay. Wow, that's that's a good one. Um, the first thing is that you know I have two sayings in photography and in my life. The first one is, is that everything depends upon everything. Everything depends upon everything. Everything depends upon everything. So when people ask me about how to light something, it's like, well, I can give you some guidelines, but it depends. It depends <laughs> upon whether you have blonde hair or dark hair, or yeah. you know, it's like there's all kinds of things that depends. But my key one is perseverance furthers, which is actually a line from the from the I Ching. So basically, what that means, as long as you continue to put one foot in front of the other, you'll mm -hmm. get somewhere. Mm -hmm. And when Just when go. there's when there's, there's when there's economic downturns and people start crying and oh my god and everything's horrible. I just sit back and say, well, you know what? If you want to go out of business, great, because I'm still here. And I've, I'm still standing, and I'm still going, and I don't care what happens, I'm still going forward. And in every economic downturn, there are people who make money. Yeah. So you can continue on. So that's one of them, is the yes. perseverance furthers. I think that that's really, really big. And I think what's so significant about that is it seems to be one of the major threads I find talking to people in every industry who do well. You, that keeps coming up. Yeah. Like you stay. Yeah. And I go a little farther and go a little farther right, and right. keeps. Yeah. Right. I mean, I can't imagine what would I be if I wasn't a photographer, photographer, or an educator. It's like I, I'm gonna be a secretary. I I don't I can't type that well. <laughs> you know. So it's like it's astronaut. But, but this is I could be an astronaut. Yes. And a rock and roll singer. Yes. <laughs> so that's that's my um, you know that's kind of like the big thing for me. Mm -hmm. The uh, the second thing I would say would be uh, continually learning. It's it's very everything easy. everything keeps changing. Everything keeps changing, but it's also very easy to get into a rut. Mm -hmm. You know, where you just say, um, you know, I know how to do that, yeah. and then you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and then you get bored. Right. And then your clients get bored because they're seeing you doing the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. So I think that 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 challenge of making sure that you're always doing something where you're improving yourself. Yes. And that can be on a whole lot of levels. It doesn't just have to be photographically. Right. It can be, you know, that you need to work out more. It can be that you need to breathe more. I, you know, I don't know. It doesn't matter. But it's that something where you're, you're constantly doing something to improve. That's always a good reminder, by the way. Yeah. It, it truly is. You go dazed and yes. then you're like, when yes. was the last time I actually breathed all the way in and out? That's yeah. true. Yeah. It's, it's important. I have mm -hmm. my clients do that all the time. Take just a deep so breath. Let go. Come yeah. back. Um, and, and it's the, funny too because you can you can almost see it just calm. Oh, you see that you like see how is that so like impactful? Of the wave, the wave just kind of like goes yeah. through. It's, yeah, it's amazing what happens. I agree. Right I've there. seen that too. Just where you just you get from everybody, everybody, everybody to okay, yeah. you know, and the whole body drops and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's actually the most simple but powerful little yeah it's technique. Good. Yeah. And then the last thing is personal projects, and that kind of is is like it's learning something. But at the same time, I think that no matter what is going on, you need to be working on something that means something to you, mm -hmm. that that isn't about money, mm -hmm. that isn't about anything else except that this is something that you love, and you need to pursue it more. You need to discover it, a, a long term project. Why you know, do you work, think that's significant? Um, because I think that it it helps you stay fresh, and also if you do something that you don't do all the time, then it brings you in a different perspective. It breaks you out of the box. It breaks you out of the box. And I get a lot of my students, sometimes I have students come in and they're good photographers and they know how to do that really well and they're good. And I'll give them something that will be completely different. You know, like shoot something, bring me back 10 pictures that nothing sharp in the picture. Not that I want you to be an out of focus photographer, right. but if you do that, try it. Try it something just different. Just kind of, it, it kind of makes your brain open up so That's you true. can bring in other things and then it helps you be better in what it is that you do. Right. So it's again, it is that kind of like breaking out of the box to let something new in. Yes. You know, so yes. I, is that good enough? 
<laughs> That's great enough. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. No, because it's it, and it's the same thing too. When I teach business to photographers, sometimes it's like oh. cracking open a. I just don't go there. I don't go there. I don't go there. Well, just yeah. try. Let's let's you know. And you kind of slowly walk in. And I think sometimes people shut themselves off to feeling like I do this and I don't do this. Right. Right. You know. And then and that is that's just self-limiting behavior. And, and it is self-limiting. Yeah. And it staunches creativity. Yeah. And thank you for bringing up about business because that's something that I you know I mentor people as well and. I, I normally work with people who are emerging photographers and I help them both increase their skill level and their business practices. That probably, maybe I should interchange one of those because learning about business is probably, if you want to be a professional photographer and make this your living, yes. learning about business is probably the single most important thing that you need to know. Yeah. You know, if you're not a good business person, I know there's too many of them out there. There's too many really great photographers out there who are living in tiny little apartments and... and producing uh, beautiful work. And producing absolutely stunningly beautiful work right. and are just barely getting by. And then there's a whole lot of mediocre people out there who are good business people and are making a lot of money that should be going to the people who are really good photographers. So learn the business practices, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when people say, is it marketing or is it art? Both. It's both. 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 It's not, it's, there's very few either ors yeah. in this business. Um, and I think that uh, when you say learn business, did you always know business? Did oh my you God, no. Pick it up as you went along? Oh, I learned the hard way. I learned by making lots and lots of mistakes. Worst mistake? Uh, probably in the very beginning is not getting everything in writing ahead of time. Mm. I actually, in my classes now, I make my students raise their hand and take a vow that from this day forward that they will not make a photograph without a signed contract ahead of time. Excellent. I absolutely, positively, it's, yeah. the, it's the biggest mistake that people make. Why would you, would you have somebody come and work on your car if you didn't have a signed estimate? Of course not. Why would you, why would somebody want to hire a photographer that is not a good enough business person to have a contract that states what everything is, yeah, it's all happen. clear, puts it out there. It's all clear, has all the, the terms and conditions, has yeah. all the rights, clearly states all the money. It's like it's, yeah, that's, yeah, absolutely. That's actually been um, a sadly surprising um, evolution in my career is recognizing how significant that is. Like from a business perspective, you know it, but then you get in conversations, you get in partnerships, you get in um, arrangements or, and such with people that you feel like that's overkill. And yet, at the end of the day, it's not necessarily that you don't trust them. It's just that you maybe you both perceived this situation very differently, right. and you had different ideas. And if you didn't write it down and actually both say, yes, those are the words that describe what we're right. going into, it, it's anybody's interpretation. Right, absolutely. And you've got um, more, more work coming out. Don't you have a, a new DVD coming out? I do, as a matter of fact. Um, I have two, v two DVDs now that Calumet yes. produced years ago. One of them is Portrait Lighting Techniques, which is all studio, and the other one's Portraits Unplugged, which is all natural light. I'm kind of known as the you know, the lighting, the portraits unplugged queen, you know? <laughs> you know my nickname Do you have that is, title? No, I actually, the, the title is Mistress of Light. Mistress of Light, <laughs> love it. Um, but I have a new DVD that will be out in December, which is Posing and Directing. And um, it's self-produced. Yes. Uh, Richard Newman and myself are doing that together. And uh, it, it's the beginning of a whole new series of things that I'm going to be doing, mm -hmm. a whole new series of DVDs. But it's, it's probably, as you know, the single most important thing in, that people are asking in the workshops. People never know how to pose somebody, mm. and then how do I talk to somebody? So this is this is a very down to earth. It's not uh, a big fancy production. Right. It's really about I'm I have people that I'm working with. I've got male and female headshot, three quarter, full length uh, couples, family, and a little segment with a with a kid as well. Very good. And then where can people go to find out even more about you? Uh, BobbyLane.com. Are you on Twitter or Facebook? I'm Twitter, Facebook. I have a blog, which is it's you can get to it from my website. The blog is called the Pro Site. S I G H T. Okay. So the Pro um, S I G H T. The site. Pro yes. S I G H T, and that is. Uh, I, you know, I'll be writing stuff in there, but I'm also going to be having guest people come in. So that's why I didn't want it to ha just have my name. Yes. Because I wanted that's ah. kind of like the parent company. I okay. want to be able to bring in a lot of other people to be able to share, to be able to share information. So another good educational resource. Yes. Site like site. Site. Yes. The pro site. I see what you did there. Yes. Clever, <laughs> clever, don't you think? Thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. today. You're welcome. I'm very happy to be here. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 8 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.